top billing last night at the Democratic National Convention was Barack Obama, the illusionist. And he presented a sleight of hand so brilliant that his blind Democrat audience chose not to see, willfully chose not to hear. He asked the Democrats to vote for Obama. He asked them to vote for the memory of himself. And of course, memories grow fuzzy over time. We forget the worst of stuff that happens to us. We're programmed to do that and we just remember the best bits. And of course, Obama gave us a splendid rendition of all his best bits, being able to turn up looking sophisticated in a suit, stand in front of something important, write a brilliant speech and articulate it in a way that not many others can achieve. Those are all of Obama's best bits and of course the Democrats lap that up. But there were many things that did not ring true when he was busy criticising Trump, being damn right rude in fact to Trump. The simple truth of the matter for the illusionist Obama is that Trump was elected because Obama failed. Trump got into power because the people were sick of Obama and his policies, of being all talk, very good at talking, but no action, of a failed economy, 65 million people feeling utterly forgotten, of the military being weaker than at any time in its history. That's the reason Trump was elected, because Obama failed. And that's the point he seemed not willing to make. The second up, of course, he talked about revering the office of president, making himself for a moment the high priest of that office. Well, if you respect an office so much, why are you willing to be so disrespectful to the office of number 45? Whatever your thoughts are for Trump, surely the office of president, if you revere it so much, would stop you being obnoxiously rude about it at a democratic national convention. And finally, of course, the truth of this matter is that Democrats aren't going to be voting for Obama. This is an illusion. They're going to be voting for Biden. If he is so terrific, if he's all those things you casually mentioned in passing about him being a kindly old grandpa, why was it you did not support his nomination? Why did you not come out for Biden earlier? In fact, why is it, Obama, that you tried to encourage him not to run? Of course, that is the truth, is that when the smoke and mirrors disappear and the applause dies down, the Democrat audience will find themselves not looking at this memory of Obama that they choose to hold. They'll just be looking at sniff and blow, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. And that's not what America needs right now at all.